I'm, I want Sister Chloe Adams to come up here. Just come here, darling. This young lady right here is somebody very, very special. Will you give her a big hand? Because I, I, want, on, I want it on television. I want it on Facebook, YouTube. I want everybody to see her. I want to read something to you. And um, see, one, nothing moves me like people who stand for the faith. And nothing angers me and disappoints me like people who don't. When God gives you an opportunity to make a stand, make it. She was 900 plus miles away from home. Invited to uh, Xavier University, she's very smart, to study diseases. They wouldn't have invited me for that. Amen. And to do lab experience, experiments. And so you can't just show up, they have to invite you. And they only invite those who are qualified. And she was qualified. And they invited her. And uh, it was false advertising. It was an attempt to corrupt her. They did not do labs until the very last week. That was a four week program. So I, 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 I want to be taped. I want it out there. A four week program. And uh, they did only one lab. Uh, and, and, and in that they was uh, investigating uh, some bacteria or something that was found in the dirt. But the lure was a four week study of diseases. All right? In, in that time, what they did was they tried to indoctrinate the students with this woke uh, critical race theory stuff. Now, if that's your thing, if that's what they're going to teach, then let that be the lure. Because of how you feel about it. If that's your thing, that ought to be the lure. But saying we're going to study bacteria and diseases and all that, and then you get there, and you're there for four weeks, and you're 700 miles away, 900 miles away from home, uh, in a college program, um, and they don't even talk about it, but they they present this. I want to read something to you. Now I'm going to preach it. I'm not going to preach real long, a long time, just long enough to preach. <laughs> this is by, this is a poem, and this is where she made her stand uh, by Denise Smith. Uh, Denise says I've left the earth in search of darker planets a solar system revolving too near a black hole I've left in search of a new God I do not trust the God you have given us my grandmother's hallelujahs my grandmother's hallelujah is only outdone by the fear she nurses every time the blood fat summer swallows up another child who used to sing in the choir. Take your God back. Though his songs are beautiful, his miracles are inconsistent. This is, this is the, the science class now. I want the fate of Lazarus for Renisha, won't Chucky, Boo, Michi, Trayvon, Shane, and Jalaya risen three days after their entombing. Their ghosts 
regifted flesh and blood. Their flesh and blood regifted their children. I've left earth. I am equal parts sick of your go back to Africa and I just don't see race. Neither do, did the poplar tree. We did not build your boats, though we did leave a trail of kind, of kin to guide us home. We did not build your prisons, though we did and we feel them too. We did not take part in your America, though are we not America? Her joints brittle and bragging and dragging, excuse me, a ripped gown through Oklahoma, through Oakland. I can't stand your ground. I'm sick of calling your recklessness the law. Each night I count my brothers and in the morning when some do not survive to be counted, I count the whole they leave I reach for black folk and only touch air your master magic trick America now he's breathing now he don't abracadabra white voodoo sorcery you claim not to practice hand my cousin a pistol to do your work. I tried white people. I tried to love you. But you spent my brother's funeral. Making plans for brunch. Taking too long. Uh, talking too loud. Next to his bones. You took one, one look at the river. Plumb with the body of boy after girl. After sweet boy. And ask why does it always have to be about race? And he says, because you made it that way. Because you put an asterisk on my sister's gorgeous face. And called her pretty for a black girl. Because black girls go missing without as much as a whisper. Because there are no amber alerts for amber skinned girls. Because Jordan boomed, because Emmett whistled, because Huey P. spoke, because Martin preached, because black boys can always be too loud to live, because it's taking my papas and grandmamas and uh, time and my father's time and my mother's time, my aunt's time, my uncle's time, and my brother's and my sister's time. And it goes on uh, like this for a few more lines. And when they finish reading this in the class, this young lady is standing here. Come here, darling. Uh, 900 plus miles away from home. She's, how old are you, dear? 15. She's 15. Ladies, She's not a missionary. She has no papers. She hasn't been appointed to anything yet. Uh, she's not ordained, elders. Beautiful little girl. Now she's no, she's not, not real big. She didn't have any armor bearers out there with her. She had no amen corner. And she stood up and said to them, the God that you are rejecting in this poem is the Christian God. And that's my God. I want you to look at him. I want, I want you to see what a Christian warrior looks like. So that's my God. And she said, if it wasn't for Jesus, I wouldn't be here today. I'm preaching already. And then the whole class 
tried to gang up on her. And you know what? She wouldn't take it back. I am so proud of you. I'm moved by your courage. And the way it ended, the, 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 the teacher had to apologize to her. And because and the, the teacher was left, left, everybody in the class, all of them believed that stuff. And they lured, uh, lured the students out to indoctrinate them. This is why you ought to thank God for this kind of church and the stuff that we preach because see, they're saying this stuff. And some of y'all, why do Bishop wouldn't have to talk about this that stuff all the time? I'm equal time. I represent the other side of the argument because if you only hear one side, it will sound so convincing. There's got to be somebody who will tell you the truth. Sister Chloe, will you give us greeting? I, I want to hear your voice. How, how, how did that make you feel going, going through that? Where you get that courage from, girl? Church. No, oh, say it again. Now, I want you to talk. See, she's real quiet. She's bad. She don't want to be up here. But I want you to tell her what. There's a mama right there. And Paul said, told uh, Timothy, the same faith that I found in your grandmother and I found in your mother, it's in thee. And her mother's a warrior for Jesus. Come stand beside your daughter, Vicky. Come on. Come up here and stand beside your little girl. Her mother's a warrior for Jesus. Praise the Lord. I love it because you know what? She could have been nuanced and said nothing and dropped into neutrality, but she didn't do it. She stood her ground. So, Sister Chloe, would you greet us today? Give her a hand. Huh? Yeah, yeah, whatever you want to say. Hi, everyone. Give her a big hand. Thank you so much. See, that's what I'm saying. That bashful, 15 years old, but had the strength when it counted. <laughs>